Now, Halle Berry is mad at Drake. That's because Drake posted a picture of her being slimed, and this was saying that he was going to put out his new record. She didn't like it. Right, right. Well, and, and this right here is the exact reason why it doesn't matter if what Kendrick said about Drake is true or not. Hold on to your seats, folks, because this celebrity drama is about to blow your mind. Halle Berry has thrown her full support behind Kendrick Lamar, and we can guess why her rocky past with Drake is making headlines again. Drake's creepy antics are nothing new, but the tea that's spilling now. Unbelievable. From obsessive behavior to outright disrespect, Drake's history with Halle is downright chilling. Did you know he used her photo without permission and ignored her clear no? Would you? I thought, wow, Drake, thank Drake, you. It's pretty nice, right? I yeah. Did. So I had to, of course, I wasn't gonna let that go undone. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Fans are convinced he's been stalking her for years. We're diving deep into the messy details and even juicier rumors about Drake's weird obsession with Halle and his creepy track record with other women. You won't believe what we found. Get ready, because this is one scandalous ride you don't want to miss. A long-standing feud between rap artist Drake and Kendrick Lamar is once again heating up after the release of diss tracks back to back, and we really mean back to back to back to back. Interestingly enough, the history of the Drake and Kendrick Lamar feud is as complex as it is intense. It all began when Kendrick Lamar was an up-and-coming artist and Drake extended a helping hand by featuring him on his Take Care album and inviting him on the 2012 Club Paradise Tour. Their professional relationship seemed solid until Kendrick's breakthrough album, Good Kid, M.A.A.D. City, catapulted him into the spotlight. In a now infamous guest verse on Big Sean's Control, Kendrick called out Drake, J. Cole, and other rappers, declaring his intention to surpass them all. Now that shooting has certainly turned a spotlight on that feud. The two rappers have been engaged in a lyrical battle in recent weeks, and that heated up this past weekend. Drake, never one to shy away from a challenge, responded with measured indifference, but the simmering tension would only grow. As the years passed, the rivalry turned into a lyrical battleground, with both rappers throwing subtle and not-so-subtle jabs at each other in their music. The feud reached a fever pitch with Kendrick's verse on Like That, where he declared there was no big three, only big me setting the stage for an all-out war of words. They're really poets. They're really two people who have the ability to see, listen, and then spit back lyrics that are very intriguing. As the story unfolds, the accusations between Drake and Kendrick Lamar have grown increasingly personal and damaging. Drake, always ready to defend his honor, released push-ups drop and give me 50 mocking Kendrick's hype and accusing him of being a puppet controlled by record labels. Kendrick hit back with euphoria, calling Drake a master manipulator and questioning his parenting skills, among other scathing critiques. Because it, it, once you infiltrate the hive mind, everybody believes it, and then it's substantiated. Lil Even Rod's whether... probably about to sue Act 2 then, right? In a shocking twist, Kendrick up the ante with Meet the Grams targeting Drake's family and accusing him of having a secret second child and various addictions. Drake's retaliation, Family Matters, took the feud to new heights, with Drake making unsubstantiated claims about Kendrick's personal life and even hinting at domestic abuse. Some heavy accusations, and it's not like they're really trying to hold each other accountable. They're just throwing these types of accusations around to attempt to ruin the image of the other, and that's whack to me. Other than that... This leads us to the question, how much of this drama is rooted in reality and how much is pure spectacle? The answer, as always in the world of celebrity gossip, is likely a mix of both. The personal attacks and increasingly wild allegations serve to keep fans and media engaged, but the truth often gets lost in the chaos. As if this wasn't enough, Drake's troubles don't end with Kendrick. The misconduct allegations against him have resurfaced, casting a long shadow over his career. In 2017, Drake reportedly paid $350,000 to Laquana Morris, also known as Layla Lace, who accused him of assault. Drake has always maintained that their encounter was consensual and has vigorously defended himself against her claims. One insider revealed Drake was blindsided by these allegations. He insists there's no truth to them, but the damage to his reputation is already done. Could it be that the resurfacing of these allegations is part of a larger scheme to bring Drake down? The timing, after all, seems suspiciously aligned with his ongoing feud with Kendrick, adding fuel to the fire. Recent reports have suggested that the settlement with Layla Lace included a stipulation preventing her from repeating her accusations. Yet the details have somehow made their way back into the public eye, further complicating Drake's efforts to move past the scandal. What no one expected was the sudden involvement of other celebrities. Yee, never one to miss an opportunity for drama, sided with Kendrick Lamar releasing a remix of Like That and taking aim at Drake's major label record deal. 
and Rick Ross entered the fray with champagne moments alleging that Drake had undergone plastic surgery, a claim that prompted Drake's mother to text him inquiring about its truth. Drop that track, have it listened to, and have the world kind of respond is something that has not necessarily been the case in hip-hop history. This tangled web of accusations, diss tracks, and personal vendettas keeps getting more intricate. The involvement of family members, the resurfacing of past scandals, and the ongoing lyrical battles ensure that this feud remains at the forefront of hip-hop gossip. As the story unfolds, Halle Berry's firm stance against Drake adds another layer to this intricate web of celebrity drama. Fans and insiders alike have been speculating about Drake's unsettling behavior towards Halle for years, and now, with her latest accusations, the rumors of stalking have gained renewed momentum. Halle Berry, an iconic figure in Hollywood, is no stranger to the spotlight. However, her unexpected clash with Drake has taken a surprising turn. It all began when Drake decided to use a photo of Halle getting slimed at the 2012 Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards as the cover art for his single Slime You Out. What fans didn't know at the time was that Halle had explicitly told Drake not to use the image. Despite her clear refusal, Drake went ahead and used it anyway, sparking outrage from Barry and her supporters. What's the point of asking if you're going to do what you want to do anyway? At least if, you know, you didn't ask and you did it, you can apologize. Correct. One can't help but wonder, could Drake's actions be a form of obsession? Over the years, Drake has made no secret of his admiration for Halle. From rapping about her in songs to publicly declaring his crush, his fascination has been evident. But this time, his admiration crossed the line. When Barry confronted him, Drake's response was notably absent, leading many to question his motives. After the single and its art drop, Barry up, she went on uh, social media and said, sometimes you just have to be the bigger guy, even if you're a woman. One can't help but wonder, could Drake's obsession be rooted in something deeper? Hal's accusations go beyond just the inappropriate use of her image. The whispers in Hollywood suggest that Drake has been lurking around her social circles, showing up at events where she's present, and even sending unsolicited gifts. He just can't seem to take a hint one source close to Barry revealed. It's almost as if he believes he's entitled to her attention. Interestingly enough, this isn't the first time Drake's behavior has raised eyebrows. His history with other high-profile women paints a similar picture. Take Rihanna, for example. Their on-again, off-again relationship was the subject of much speculation, with Drake publicly professing his love for her, only to turn bitter when she distanced herself. Rihanna, ever the queen of poise, handled it with grace, but the damage to Drake's reputation was palpable. Could it be that Drake's pattern of fixating on women who rebuff him stems from deeper insecurities? Or is it merely a tactic to stay relevant in the ever-fickle world of celebrity? As fans continue to dissect every move he makes, the lines between genuine affection and possessive obsession blur. Adding fuel to the fire, Hal's cryptic Instagram posts have only intensified the scrutiny. Her messages about integrity and respect resonate with many who see Drake's actions as emblematic of a broader issue within the entertainment industry. When people you admire disappoint you, you have to be the bigger person and move on, she stated, a sentiment that has garnered widespread support from her followers. But the plot thickens. Recent sightings of Drake at locations frequented by Halle have not gone unnoticed. Paparazzi photos show him at the same restaurants, the same parties, even the same charity events. Coincidence? Or is there something more sinister at play? It's like he's always just a few steps behind her, Paparazzo remarked. It's eerie. This leads us to the question, how far will Drake go to maintain his image? His silence on the matter speaks volumes. While he continues to drop hints on social media, like his cryptic t-shirt post, the lack of a direct response to Halley's accusations only fuels the fire. One can't help but ask, what is he hiding? But as the drama between Drake and Kendrick continues to unfold, not everyone is cheering from the sidelines. Critics of this high-profile rap feud argue that their mutual accusations of violence do more harm than good, especially in the context of social justice. While diss tracks are a staple in hip-hop, using allegations of abuse and misconduct as weapons in their lyrical warfare may ultimately trivialize serious issues and derail meaningful conversations about justice and accountability. Musically, I think this was great. The only thing that I don't like is, uh, we, and this is what we're here to talk about this That's morning, right. I don't like seeing these brothers me too in each other over a rap feud. Interestingly enough, the backlash against this trend has been growing louder. One critic noted, by turning accusations of violence into punchlines, Drake and Kendrick risk undermining the very real struggles of survivors. This perspective highlights a significant concern that the sensationalism surrounding their feud could overshadow the gravity of the allegations being tossed around. After all, accusations of inappropriate behavior and domestic violence are not just fodder for entertainment, they are serious charges with profound implications. This is a beef that I didn't think would ever remotely get violent. 
Mm. No, I didn't either. So now y'all I thought they both up with them backpacks and then stop yeah, battling. Right. And and SOB. Yo. As the story unfolds, some voices within the hip hop community are calling for a reevaluation of how these issues are handled in music. The culture needs to find a balance one insider revealed. We can't ignore the power of hip hop to address real issues, but we also can't let these discussions become tools for personal vendettas. In a shocking twist, even some of Drake and Kendrick's peers have weighed in on the matter. Fellow artists and industry veterans have expressed their concerns about the potential long-term impact of this feud on the genre and its audience. We have to be careful, one prominent rapper said. These young fans are watching, and we need to set a better example. This leads us to the question, will Drake and Kendrick's feud ultimately push the boundaries of artistic expression too far? Or will it spark a necessary conversation about the responsibilities that come with their influence? As fans and critics alike continue to dissect every bar and tweet, the line between entertainment and exploitation becomes increasingly blurred. So what do you think, viewers? Is Drake's obsession with Halle Berry just a harmless crush, or is there something more sinister at play? And are Kendrick and Drake's diss tracks crossing the line by turning serious allegations into entertainment? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep this conversation going. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, stay curious and keep the tea flowing.